Introduce yourself, please. Hi, I am Gina Valentina. Hi, Gina. Welcome back. Um, I am going to ask, even though we know barely, but are you over the age of 18? I am. Perfect. Um, safe words. If you want everything to stop and for someone to check in, what would you say? Red. And if you have a gag in your mouth, what would you do? Uh, uh, uh. Perfect. Both of those break character, look directly into the camera, that way there's an extra set of eyes on you. If you're okay to stay in character, but you just want to let me know to back off of what I'm doing at the moment, what would you say? Yellow. Yellow. I just, you know, I had that in my head, but you know, you got it. <laughs> Jeez. I know you know, but we have to we cover them just so we got it there. All right, hard limits. Um, we are not sticking anything in your butt today, so fuck you guys. I don't care how much anal you think you want to see. It's not happening today. Period. Everybody needs a break, right? Yep, but well, you know you guys get everything else, so we're cool with that. Exactly. I was going to say there's nothing else. There's no shaving the pubes, and everything else is a go. Yeah, so you're even okay with a few marks if we get we actually oh, yeah. get marks? Okay. Oh, yeah. But you, you, you. I don't bruise that bad. I was going to say, I, I got to work to get any marks. I know. You're like, oh, God. But at the same time, you, you, you'll give it up. Like, you're not like, okay, wait a minute, that's a little too much. You're like, come on. Oh, like, there's just something about you, man. I, I bring out the best in everything. I know. <laughs> I've been like, it's literally like, I've asked, I've tried to tell my friends, like, can they do this to me? I'm like, no, like, it's not the same. So I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad you're back too. I've run into that though a lot where I, there's people that I feel in the vanilla world and the regular porn world that don't do bondage and BDSM stuff and they're like, oh, well, he's doing it, I can do it. And it's, no, it's just because you see doesn't mean you get to do. You gotta mm -hmm. practice it. Oh, yeah. A lot. You gotta learn what you're doing. You gotta be safe. That's a whole other lecture. We'll do that on like a YouTube channel or oh, something we later. Oh, should. <laughs> that sounds really great. Maybe. Oh my God. Um, so welcome back to kink.com. Thank you. Um, you. I don't know that it was your first kink shoot ever, but the first time I ever shot with you was on Hogtide. And that was when you were just a wee baby, baby a brand new. Baby. Little porn baby. Little porn baby. You were 18, right? <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah. And you don't look a day over that. You, like, you haven't aged at all. Oh, You've gotten sexier, though. I will give you that. Oh, and the tattoos. I'm just like. I know. I know. Slowly but surely. Get it, girl. Get it. <laughs> um, so, there. We've already caught up, guys. Now, in case anybody was wondering, <laughs> Gina and I know each other. Um. <laughs> So let's talk about some of the things that you enjoy when you do shoots like this. Like, what is it that kind of is it the bondage? Is it the domination? Is it the pain? Well, man, it's been so long since I've been here. So and now I have to put myself back in that position, put myself in that mindset. Um, I mean, what I really love about this is like, I think it's the me the mental. Uh, I don't want to say mental manipulation. Right. But there is a sort of mental manipulation where it's pleasurable. Right. So it's like a give or take and like and there's a big challenge like mentally to get through shit like this. Oh yeah. I'm literally giving myself to you. Like right. I am yours for the time being. Like you can do whatever you want and like that kind of like power trip for me, like that like letting somebody take control of me is like right. so exciting. And I love it. It's so weird. I don't know. It's just It's the it's 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 a thing that I've noticed once I got into bondage and BDSM it's and, kinky. It's, <laughs> it, and it's kinky but people that, that seem and not this is a generalization this isn't a fact this is just to generally if people are very in charge and very on top of their life and they got their shit together but they're also doing this and they're busy doing that and they got so much going on this is kind of like their way of I'm gonna give it all up because I'm sick of making all the decisions I'm sick of calling all the shots I want someone else to do it for a while obviously within reason and a checklist but ultimately you're like you take control. I'm done doing it. This is my break for right now. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 um, therapeutic almost. It is. I was just about to say that. It's like I feel like I'm um, ridding of all all the things that want to happen to me. Like these are like maybe some dark thoughts that I want somebody to do to me. We'll get the devil out. We're doing the Lord's work around here, young lady. Get out! Get <laughs> out! <laughs> um, so with all that being said, as you know, we will in besides you like I said, you're down, so we're gonna go hard. Um, sometimes there's tears. Mm -hmm. If we get to a point where there's tears, I'm going to stop. I'm going to come in and wipe a tear and I'm going to ask if you're okay and if you want to continue. If you say that you can, I'm going to go back to doing it and I'll check, but I'm not going to be nice about it. I'll just kind of keep flowing through but checking to make sure you're okay. Does that sound all right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. What's your favorite type of food to eat right now? What are you into right oh, now? I love red meat. I love, love, love meat. Steak. Obsessed. You also are, in case anyone didn't know this about 
Miss Valentina, you are a Brazilian woman. Yes. And so I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've done the Brazilian steakhouses oh, where it's, yeah. just as soon as you said red meat, I'm like, why have I never talked to her about eating like this? I know, you have no idea. I literally just ate, this is sucks, but I went to Miami, bought this amazing steak at like the Salt Bay restaurant and like spent like $800 on like, well, it was $400 on one steak. Right. What, I don't know, what was it? Uh, uh, what was it? The fucking... Man, I can't even remember, but it was a fat fucking steak. Was it worth the money is the question. Yes. Okay. Later on, I threw it up. Not <laughs> worth it at all. So I was so upset. I was like, Bruh. I was like, I spent no. so much money on this. I know. You telling me I was like four hundred dollars just went to waste. So it's a good steak. <laughs> Should have held on longer. Oh, you had no idea. <laughs> um, last question: If you um, could go anywhere right now, free of charge, where would you go? Oh man, I mean, I'm going to Jamaica tomorrow, so. Oh damn, so yeah. you're already going. I'm like, I, I'm, a, I'm ready to vacation, but I don't know, Tokyo. I go to Tokyo, right. Japan. I love the people out there, the culture out there. Um, there's a lot of fetishes out there that I think are really cool. I, that's one place that I, I feel like I need to go. Even though I've been told I got other places I should go. No. That's one that I feel like you because of doing it. this, I should go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, they would love too. you there. Sushi and bondage? Oh, wow. I was going to say, I was like, he's not that's talking about the bondage. He's talking about the sushi. <laughs> the food and the culture. <laughs> no, for sure. All right. Um, you ready to start it? Yes. Awesome. Have a good shoot. We'll talk to you afterwards. Tell Thank them. you, guys. I'll see you later.